Hey everyone, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm going to be testing out a couple plug-and-play devices to see if I can get my picture quality any better on my original Nintendo Entertainment System. For a stock Nintendo Entertainment System, you only have a couple options for video output. You can go with an RF connection, which is just horrible, that combines your video and audio in one signal. Or you can go one step up with Composite, which has one video output and one audio output. But Composite is not much better. It used to be okay back in the old days when we didn't have HDTVs, but on modern TVs, the NES with the composite video signal looks like crap. There is a couple mods available out there to make your Nintendo video quality much better. There's an RGB and HDMI mods, but it involves soldering and replacing circuit boards inside your Nintendo, and on top of that, it's very difficult to do and very expensive. We're talking at least $200 plus, and I can't justify spending that much on my original Nintendo. Especially when there's so many other ways to play original Nintendo now. We got the Nintendo Classic Edition, we got all kinds of emulators out there. I just want something to make my original Nintendo just a little bit better. Alright, so the first product I'm going to show you is just a video converter. This is made by Black Web. Uh, this is an upscaler. It lets you put your video composite cables on one end, and then it has HDMI output on the other end. And I've never had good luck with these. I don't really like the way they work, and it doesn't really improve picture quality. All it does is let you have that HDMI output so you can plug it into your HDTV. And this is a SCART to HDMI converter. And if you're not familiar with what SCART is, SCART is an audiovisual connection that was really popular in Europe. And for a lot of your retro consoles out there, like the Sega Genesis, the Sega Saturn, the Super Nintendo, the SCART audiovisual connection provides the best possible video quality out there. All those retro consoles I just mentioned support RGB and SCART video output. But unfortunately, the original NES does not. The best video output it supports is composite. With this SCART to HDMI converter that I'm holding, it has quite a few settings, and I actually like this converter quite a bit. It has options to change from PAL to NTSC, you can change your resolution settings all the way down from 800 by 600 all the way up to 1080, uh, but my favorite setting for the NES would be 720. You also have an option to change from SCART input to HDMI input. And when you use this converter, you can change the resolution of your HDMI output. And we also have some audio and coaxial outputs. So to hook this NES to my SCART converter, I have to use a composite to SCART converter. And that's what this little guy is. I got this on eBay for about 7 bucks, but this by no means makes your Nintendo have true SCART video output. This converter also supports S-Video, and there's a switch on the top of it where you can switch directions. So if you want to go from SCART to composite, you can do that with this converter too. All right, let's go ahead and hook everything up and I'll show you how this works. You're going to want to use a pair of composite cables. That's your red, white, and yellow cables. And on the Nintendo, you're going to notice you only have a red output and a yellow output. So you have one video output and one audio output. And if you want to, but this part is optional, you can use a splitter on that red audio cable to turn that into two channels. Now this will not be a true stereo sound. This is going to be mono separated into two channels, but it will still work. I got some surround sound speakers hooked up to my TV. And if I only have the sound hooked up to one channel, then it sounds very weird. So I'd like it a lot more if I had the sound coming through both channels. So my red audio cable is now split into two channels. So now I'm going to hook that to my red and white on the converter. Then my yellow video cable will just plug into the yellow input on the composite converter. Now it's time to plug it into my SCART to HDMI converter, but there is one downfall with using this composite to SCART converter. Unfortunately, the first time I tried to use this adapter, when I went to plug in the power cord, I found out it didn't fit. The casing on the adapter was too thick, and when I went to plug in my AC adapter, it wouldn't fit. So to make this composite adapter work, I actually had to cut away the casing right here, then I covered it with electrical tape. Now this probably isn't the best way to do this, but I'm doing this for testing purposes, and it does work. So after cutting away at the casing a little bit, I was able to plug in that AC adapter, and everything fit. Now there is a much simpler solution to this, instead of cutting on this and taping it, you can just buy a cable like this. This is a SCART cable that's actually being advertised for the original NES. And this cable should work without having to cut or make any modifications. You should be able to just plug this right in and that AC adapter plug should fit fine. And I have ordered one of these cables and it's on the way. So I haven't had a chance to test it yet, but this cable should work the same as what I have. All right, now I'm gonna open up this composite to SCART converter and show you what's going on inside of it. So as you can see inside here, we have two leads coming off of each audio input. Then we have four leads coming off the S video input. Then we have four leads coming off that yellow video input. Okay, it's time to plug it in, do a screen capture test, and this is gonna be SCART versus regular composite. And you wanna make sure you're watching this in HD, that way you can see those differences really good. So right away, you're gonna notice that the colors are much brighter on the SCART. 
and on the composite the colors look very washed and kind of dull and almost transparent looking. There seems to be a much stronger video signal coming from the SCART connection. One thing that's odd with that SCART connection though is all those greens seem to be that same color, that bright green. But I much prefer the way the SCART connection looks over the composite. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison using the SCART converter and that black web composite to HDMI converter. And these have both been upscaled to 720p and as you can see the black web looks very similar to what the composite did. The colors on the black web look very washed and dull. I mean look at the letters on the top, you can really see the difference in the letters. There also seems to be some graphical glitches on that black web. There's some vertical lines that are going up the screen there and I'm not sure what's going on with that. So what this SCART video converter seems to be doing is it's not necessarily improving the graphics but it's improving the video signal strength so that it makes everything appear that much better. Now there is times with the SCART converter where it seems like the picture might be just a little bit too bright but it's still way better than composite or what the black web's offering. And here's another comparison with SCART versus regular composite and I think SCART looks a lot better. The colors are a lot more vivid and that signal is somewhat stronger and for me it's a lot more enjoyable to play on the SCART connection. So oddly I used this same SCART connection on multiple consoles and the NES was the only one that seemed to have improved video quality. So for my other retro consoles like the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, the N64, I had to get a specific cable that was designed for RGB SCART output. So hopefully I'm not confusing you. For example, with my Sega Genesis, if I use my regular composite cables that came off my Sega Genesis and hook those composite cables to that composite to SCART converter, I would not see any improved graphics. To get improved graphics, I had to buy a specific cable that is designed for RGB SCART output. And you can get these SCART cables usually for under 10 bucks. and I will be doing some more testing on other consoles like the Sega Saturn, the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, and the Nintendo Wii. So basically, this is a way to fake a SCART connection for the original Nintendo, and in my opinion, I think the video quality is quite a bit better. So if you want to go this route, you're looking to spend about 45 bucks to get this set up going, and I think that's worth it. It's a heck of a lot better than 200 I know that. And on top of that, you can use that SCART to HDMI converter for multiple different consoles, not just the NES. But remember, for those other consoles, you have to make sure you have those specific SCART cables. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please click that like button. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of my videos, just click in these links. You can also now find me on Patreon, so if you want to help support the channel, come check me out on Patreon. I'm going to be doing some behind-the-scenes videos, talking about upcoming projects, and building this channel one bit at a time.